Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, August 10th, 2009. This morning I thought I'd go through how to completely use the certificate code that I was going through on Friday where we created a certificate. What I'd like to do today is create a certificate and then validate the certificate. So to get started, here's the registration code for creating the certificate. We looked at this last week. Let's look at how the code works in detail a little bit, how I create the private keys. So let's go ahead and look in here to create keys. And here's how I create a key. I'm picking a random number and I'm doing this by taking a timestamp now and just increasing it by the power of 10 to get it to be a big enough number. So I take the RSA key generator, give it a key size, give it a random seed, and then give it another random number here for the primality test. And then I generate a private key and a public key. Now the important thing is you don't want to let anybody see the private key. You can give the public key out, of course, that's the way public private key encryption works but you don't want to hand these out. Now, I'm storing these in a class instance variable. Not the best way of doing this, but the reason I'm doing it that way is it's a simple example and it allows me to write some simple code. So that's how I create my public and private keys. Once I do that, I can register certificates this way, and then here's the code for verifying them. I take my public key by grabbing it here, assigning it to a new RSA instance. I use SHA the same way I used it when I was creating the registration and now I verify the signature of some set of details. So I hand it the details that I handed it the first time, give it the signature, and see if they match up. So let's go ahead and try an example. Here are some details I'm going to try. So I'm going to give it my username, my Gmail address, and a simple ID number of a bunch of digits. Do it, do it. Now I'm going to save this signature. So I'm going to do this. Now that I've created the signature, I can go ahead and validate it. Let's first save these bogus details where I change the ID number and give it my CINCOM address instead. And we'll try two things. First, we're going to try to verify my existing details with the signature that I saved. And that's because I made sure it comes back from this method call. So I'm going to do a print it on this, and it should validate that is accurate. Now let's try to have it validate these bogus details, and we'll do a print it on that. And you see it's false. So this is a simple way of creating a digital signature and then you can hand out your public key and let people sign things and then you can validate on the back end whether or not the details they provided are accurate at a later date. So, that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.